Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix auto shutdown, auto restart problem on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So this is the updated method and working in 2023. So you have to apply the simple fix. So what you have to do on your Windows 10 or 11, you have to click on the search box and type here R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And from the suggestion, you have to choose registry editor. Then click on yes. The registry editor will be up. Here from the left hand menu option, you have to click on HK local machine. Then you have to double click on software. Then look for Microsoft. Double click on it. And then you have to look for Windows. So keep scrolling down until you find Windows. And once you get it, you have to make a right click on it. Hold up to new and choose key. Now you need to rename this key as Windows with W capital and update without any space and you will be in the capital all right so once done again right click on windows update or up to new and choose key now you have to rename this key as au now again make a right click on au or up to new and now depending that what kind of version of operating system you are using you have to select the value here if you're using the door 32 bit value, then you have to go with 32 or if you are using 64, then you have to go with 64. How you can find that you have to open your file explorer. Then you will be getting this PC from the left hand menu, right click on it and choose properties. And here in the system type, you can see that it's 64 bit operating system. If you're using 32, it may show you x86 or 32 bit. All right. So from here, you can find it out. So on my end, it's 64 bit. So I will right click on it again, hold up to new and choose dot 64 bit value. Now you need to name this value as no with N capital auto with a capital reboot with R in capital with with W capital log L capital on user. All right, so you have to type as it is. Even I will leave this uh, name in the description. You can copy and, pa and paste here. So it will be no auto reboot with logged on user. Once you have created, again, double click on it. And you need to rename this value data from zero to one. And then click on OK. And that's it. You have to close it now and restart your PC. And after that, you will find that your auto shutdown, auto restart problem, or restart because of the windows update problem has been fixed so if this worked for you guys do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any question any problem then let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye